This is Hardcore Minecraft, where last episode I completed my perfect base. Well, not entirely. Obviously the over here is not lit up, but I'm not building over here, so I don't care. And also because that's going to be for a future video. That future video is now. I'm taking this tiny, janky nether portal and upscaling it into the best portal I have ever built, with custom biomes circling the rest of the island I left untouched. And I also may have set my cliff on fire. But first, just like last time, I need to clear out this whole area here. It seems there are more floating vines up here somehow. I, I really don't know how this keeps happening. Now we have everything cleared out. It looks a lot better as a build site. And don't worry, I did not mess with any of this. I'm keeping this all the way till the end of the series. So with that in mind, I should definitely light up the island. And I do not have the torches on me to do that. But again, I would like to light up the island so I have a good spot to build with. And I just realized how stupid that would be if I'm going to cover up all of this with blocks. Okay. I will light up the island later. I will just build during daytime. But before I get to building, I'm going to break some bedrock because I am stuck on the nether roof. 16 TNT should be enough. I promise I will break this ugly mob farm later on. Now I can build a simple bedrock breaker. All right, attempt number one. I think I remember how this works. Darn it. Oh! I am glad I have another totem. I am down to my last totem again. Okay, this time using a chest plate. Okay, that's all it took. Well, this is a terrible spot. Why did I choose this? We're gonna make this work. If I just do something like this, place a bunch of torches down, and then I dig this way. That actually worked. I'm very surprised I made that work. <coughs> I just choked on my spit. Stage one of this project requires me building five custom biomes, and they're gonna go all across here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start outlining where each biome is going to go. Wait a minute, I missed a piece of sand down here. Why do I do this every episode? There's always something I miss. The nether waste is gonna go in this area, followed by the warped forest, which would then be followed by basalt deltas for a little bit. And then we'll go into the crimson forest, ending off with the soul sand valley to honor the fact that Poe is dead. So there we go. The whole thing is outlined and now I think I have an eyesore to get rid of. Let's just go ahead and get rid of this entire mob farm real quick. Finally, that eyesore is out of the way. That is so much better. Don't worry, I kept all the music discs so they can go right in, um, they can go right in here. Yep, I will forget about these music discs and then I will one day say, wow, those music discs are cool. Where'd I get those? Anyways, the first biome I'm going to build is the <laughs> nether wastes. Luckily, this biome is very simple and it only requires a few blocks, most of which I already have. To begin this build, I'm really just gonna go ahead and place a bunch of netherrack. It's pretty much the same as last episode. I'm just putting blocks over the existing terrain. I thought I had enough netherrack, but I guess I've got to get more. On today's edition of Is the Nether Dangerous, we have hoglins, which are not dangerous. I don't know why that was a problem. Hey, you go that way. I'm also going to grab some lava because I want to add some lava pools in this biome. Maybe I could add one right here. Now I just got to take my lava buckets, fill in this big pool, and then I can make a smaller one over here with some lava dotted around and finish the biome by adding the nether ores. But other than that, I think the biome is done. Maybe one more dot of quartz up here. But that is the first biome complete. Let's move on to the warp forest. So as you can tell, there is a lot of dirt left, which is why I'm going to take my netherrack and go back and fill in all the holes left by the dirt. I <laughs> just start doing voice impressions on myself. I'm so bored doing this already. This is Hardcore Minecraft. These are 20 shulker boxes, and for the next 200 days, I'm building 20 almanac farms to fill each one, starting with the cobblestone farm, filling up the first shulker box. As the video continues, each farm gets more difficult to build, and I even almost die building the- All right, now let me go ahead and take some bone meal, plant a bunch of warped trees, and I think I can just go ahead and place in a bunch of bone meal down here now. Oh, dude, I could have just done this. Could have just bone meal the ground and not planted the trees. All right, it's looking pretty good so far, but there's one more detail I want to add, which is these twisting vines. I think the twisting vines really add a lot to the warped forest, and I want to make sure that I have plenty of these around. And I think this that will be the last twisted vine. So if I fly away, the warped forest biome is complete. I think that looks pretty cool, but there's no time to be happy. It's time to move on to the third biome, the basalt deltas. And I am very scared to build this biome. Oh, and I have like no food. So now I just need to find a basalt delta biome, which is right there. And this seems like a pretty good spot to start mining. As you can probably tell, the Basalt Delta is the most complex nether biome. I need lava, basalt, blackstone, magma blocks. Wait, how did I... 
Okay, there's a lot of weird shapes in this biome with all sorts of layers of blackstone, magma, etc. In all honesty, I was so focused on building the biome that I forgot to talk about building the biome. Well, until this happened. And then I wanted a- No! No! My cliff! My cliff is on fire! Aw, dude, it destroyed so much of the cliff. Oh, that actually was like 10 blocks. Okay, it only burnt 10 blocks of the cliff. We're fine. I have to make sure that doesn't happen again, though. That would be very bad if the whole cliff burnt down. But three of the custom biomes are done, and now we can move on to the Crimson Forest. Did that sound like the Mario music? Wait, what is that? What's that right there? It's a ruined portal. That is not what I, th I thought it was a lit portal. Um, golden apple prop for golden helmet. I will, I'll take that. You go away. And <gasps> an enchanted golden apple? How did I not see that there when I first opened the chest? Am I, am I just blind? Like, do I need glasses? Considering this is my first enchanted golden apple, I think it deserves a spot in my room. That seems like a terrible spot for that there we go why is there a pig there hold on a second don't tell me they escaped no they're here i guess i just have more pigs on the island than i thought kind of wish i had kept you guys in mine carts i could already see the peril that would come with this i would i would manage to flick a trap door and you guys would walk out i'd be so sad although i don't ever plan on trading with you guys so i never finished this house what what is with me and not finishing the projects i do you know if i had a nickel for every time i thought a project was done only to find out that i missed something i'd have two nickels which isn't a lot but it is weird that it happened twice i have an arrow sticking out of my head And with that, four of the custom biomes are done, so we can move on to the last custom biome being the Soul Sand Valley. Aw, oh, this is gonna be torture to grab all of this. Why do skeletons burn in daylight, but they don't burn in the nether? That's probably enough of those blocks. Now I need to find more bone blocks. Now that I have everything, let me grab my soul sand, and hopefully this is enough to cover the area. And... That's the last of my soul sand and soul soil. I have still a lot more to go, apparently. Now that the biome is filled in, mostly, I'm gonna make some fossils. I'm not really sure how to build fossils, so I'm just gonna try my best like that. Let's do like it caved in a little bit. Yeah, there we go. We could add like a little F-shaped fossil down here. So maybe it goes like this and then, ooh, maybe if I do this. Yeah, there we go. Nope, that looks awful. Oh, I missed a whole section of soul sand. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's great. Okay, cool. I got a bad omen bottle for an hour and 40 minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and light up the soul sand. There we go. Just a uh, nice little funeral flames, I guess. And that's about it. So if I fly away, the soul sand valley is complete. This thing looks pretty cool. Now I did. Okay, sure. Let's just have the rain come down on the fire. Thanks for that game. I really appreciate that. Wait a minute. Why did I not do this for this biome? Yeah, wait a minute. Why, is, why, why do I have torches here? I should I should have flames all around here. Ah, man, I broke another one. Gotta craft another flint and steel. There we go. Hopefully I don't break this one. <gasps> no! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's all on fire. It's all on fire. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Stop burning. Stop burning. Stop burning. Well, it's all gone. <laughs> no, I just did. Okay. All right. Flames can go very far away from the cliff. Torches are gonna have to stay on over here, I guess. Sorry for anyone that this bothers, but I don't want my cliff on fire. I cannot believe I just did that. Okay, I I'm not upset anymore. This island looks incredible flying in. I can't wait to see what it looks like at the end of the video with the massive port. Oh my gosh, there's more. There's more way over here. What happened here? No, so much of my cliff is gone. That makes three episodes in a row where I'm getting acacia wood. You know, at least I built some of the bottom of this cliff with tough blocks. I think that that really helped out a lot. Okay, the cliff is filled back in. Life lesson of the day. Do not put open flame near wood. I need to chop this tree down because this is way too... I mean, look at it. It's tall. It's almost taller than the entire build. And that looks so much better. Except for that. That looks so... That is so ridiculously... Oh my gosh, they're all ridiculously tall. 
And with those modifications in place, all five custom biomes are complete. But now that all the biomes are done, let's move on to the elephant in the room, which is this giant gaping area here, which is reserved for a massive nether portal. But before I build the portal, I want to get an enchantment for my boots because right now, soul sand is terrible. I just need to find some pigment to trade with. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Just give him some gold real quick. Now I'll just sit here until I get soul speed. Oh, soul Soul Speed 2, okay. I just need another Soul Speed 2 book or preferably a Soul Speed 3 book. Like, darn it, like that. Okay, well, how expensive would it be to combine the... 12? Okay, maybe I'll just wait for Soul Speed 3 because there's no way I'm gonna be able to afford to put them on my boots. I had to sit here and wait, but for you guys, Soul Speed 3 is about to appear right now. Darn it, I, all right. Fire res? Oh, oh, fire! There it is, there it is! That is one of two enchantments I wanted. And now it's time for the scary one, Swift Sneak, which can only be found in an ancient city. Which, using chunk base, I know there should be one around here somewhere. Uh, there seems to be a cave entrance down here. Um, this cave goes nowhere, though. Well, I guess I could just dig straight down. Surely nothing bad would happen if I did that. Any second now, I'm about to hit it. Oh! Okay, I could not have timed that sentence any better. I can mine as much of this gray wool as I need. We have a shrieker right down there. Block off the chest, so any chest noise will not set a shrieker off. Okay, see, that's the exact opposite of what I wanted to happen. And now I just have soul torches for it. Don't tell me that was the second time that thing just went off. Fortune three. I hate to say it, but I think I need to go over there. Oh, it's so scary. Oh, it's so scary. It's so scary. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Don't tell me me flying caused that. I think if I open this, I should be okay. Looting three. That is not the book I wanted. Dang, that's a good hoe. That sounds terrible. Uh, disc fragment. Other side. Ward armor trim. Okay, more fragments. Oh. I just set it off. I just set it off. I set it off. I set it off. He's coming. He's coming. Uh oh, I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. Okay. I've kind of created a situation for myself. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Uh oh. I can't see. I can't see. I don't. I can't see where I'm going. Oh my gosh. 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 I can't see where I'm going. I didn't even get it. No swift sneak there. Gonna have to find it in another one. Time to try this again. I'm hoping this will be fine. Looting three. And that did not help at all. What? What? That was the first one. That was the first one. I thought I would get a reset. I even logged off just to make sure. All right. Well, that's the case. I'm just grabbing this stuff. No, I can't. I can't. I, I don't know what book that was. I've had too much stuff in my inventory. I got an enchant to go on Apple, though. For all I know, that book down there is Swift Sneak 3. It's not worth losing the world over, so. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, all right. Flying away, flying away. Okay, doing the same thing over here. Swift Sneak 1 and 2, really. All right, I'm going to fly to this chest down here. I'm just going to grab it and move on. Don't even care to stick around to find out where the warden is. And it has Swift 3! That's it! That's it! I have the book! Heck, let's just put it on the pants right now. There we go. Swift Sneak 3! I did it! And I got another enchanted golden apple and I've survived, so that's something. You know, come to think of it, I think a skulk block would look better here. That's actually what I wanted to do originally, but I replaced it with amethyst because I was Four. And because I want another music disc in my room, other side can go right here. To build this portal, I'm going to need a few materials, including warp blocks, crimson wood, moss, terracotta, deep slate, cherry wood. Oh no, skeleton, come here. The skeleton shot the- No! The skeleton shot the chicken! Very treasure. More cherry wood. Bee nests, I guess. And a pillager outpost? Hello, outpost. Oh, a new goat horn. Okay. Dude, that that's that one's this one's cool. I like this one. What is up here? Other than a gold block. Uh it's kind of garbage. Wait, is that another outpost? Another goat horn? Oh, I've already had this one. Now that I have the materials, let me go ahead and make the shape of the portal. 
so now that the entire portal is this thing's ginormous oh my goodness anyways let's go ahead and texture the entire portal oh yeah this thing looks much cooler fully textured look at this thing this is so cool I, i'm loving it ow now the whole portal is uh there's a block up there i can i missed a block that was a i uh now i could light the portal before i continue on some of you commented on episode one that i could shear the glow berries in my base that's actually why i did it on the warp roots earlier so thank you to everyone who commented that because this is so much better than using string last episode i said i wouldn't build a giant panda face in the sky so i'm not doing that but instead i'm gonna build a giant panda holding onto the portal because that's so much different which of course means i need more materials I wish I had a concrete converter. And after making an outline of the panda, it's time for me to build it. And the final couple blocks go here. Oh, I fell off. So now if I fly away and turn back, it looks so good. It looks so good. It it's Poe! It's a giant Poe holding onto the portal. Don't worry, I'm not gonna keep these torches here. I just needed these as a little placeholder because right now it needs to be lit up. Otherwise, creepers will spawn on it and it'll blow up. But I do need to get some wool now that I think about it. If only I had a sheep readily available to me. Oh, look at that. A readily available sheep. That's crazy. They can't regrow their... They can't regrow anything because they don't have grass. Okay, I'll, I'll get I'll get them grass. Hold on. It's a little weird because that's very green in a room that's not green at all, but... Yeah, whatever. If the chunk loader is still active, how much iron is this? Oh, dude, it's full. I'll just put a bunch of iron in here. Who uh, who needs storage when you have shulker boxes? Who needs storage when you have storage? I, I'm so smart. And with that, the portal is done. I wish it wasn't raining so I could actually do a cinematic of this, but that's it. The portal's done. But before I can end this episode off, there's one more thing I want to do, and that is update the map. As you can see, that's my temple from episode one, and I'm ready to update it and put it on a new wall. Only there is a place I could trade my iron for emeralds, which would be the armors. Hello, guys. And there's some emeralds. Hello, guys. Gonna trade some iron with you. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> Now I can cross the street, head over to my librarian house. Man, it is raining in the snow biome, and that's not immersive at all. Uh, and I need some empty maps, sir. And now if I update the map, once again, I can put all of my maps on the wall, which shows that my island is fully complete. We have all seven biomes from last episode, the five new nether biomes from this episode, and Poe with my massive portal. And the final thing I'm going to do is get rid of my old portal. This portal's been with me since episode one, which is really not saying much because this is like only episode three. Cover my old portal up and behold my new nether portal. I am so happy with this thing. This it looks so good. And I actually did the back. Poe, your island is complete. I hope you're happy with it. I'm sorry I stabbed you with my axe. Once again, thank you to all my patrons. And as the sun sets on day 299, I will see everyone in the next episode. Woohoo! Hardcore Minecraft!